Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. This video, I was inspired to make this robotic broom. Um, I don't know if you guys have Cracker Barrels anywhere near you, but my family and I, we went on vacation. We stopped by a Cracker Barrel. Let me go ahead and show you this cool looking broom I ran into. I'm gonna make me one of these. And as soon as I saw that, I, I was a little freaked out for a second, but as soon as I saw that, I'm like, no way, that's exactly what our Lego Mindstorms EV3 robot can do. So my brain started to go, you know what? I bet you I can get home and make something just like that. So this video, you're gonna have to stay with me because I'm gonna make one of those magic cool brooms. So I'm going to this Cracker Barrel and I'm just, you know, you guys know that shop that you can go through either before or after you eat. Really cool shop. Um, but anyway, I'm looking at something and out of the corner of my eye, I hear this <laughs> and I see this thing coming at me. I'm like, what is this thing? And, you know, obviously it wasn't a person. And as soon as I see this magical broom, I'm like, well, I was kind of freaked out for a second. But as soon as I figured out what it was, I'm like, no way. I can totally see this becoming a, a Lego Mindstorms EV3 robot. I knew exactly what principles were involved in how this thing worked. I mean, you guys know what sensor is being used in this uh, robot, right? Come on, everybody say it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get back as soon as I could to my room and start, you know, working on making one that looked just like it. So you're gonna have to um, take this step by step and see what I'm doing in my journey on making this magical broom. Let's go to step one. So step one, I kind of wanted to start with the easy part that I had all the materials for. So I just took this uh, construction paper that looked like, um, you know, looked like hay. I didn't really want to use regular hay because it, it seemed too messy. It seemed to just get all over the place and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just stick with something that I knew I could work with easily. So construction paper. So I just took, you know, yellow or beige looking type construction paper. I used my cutting board to just cut them into strips. And then uh, I knew that I didn't want to cut these too thin on my cutting board. So I ended up just cutting at uh, these end parts with the regular scissors. So I'm just now going through all of these strips and kind of just cutting skinnier strips just so hopefully that it spreads out a little wider. Or you can just hit up Hobby Lobby or some type of craft store. And I got, um, they call this uh, crepe streamer paper. So this actually works pretty good too. I mean, it, you know, it might not be a, as authentic looking as the construction paper, you know, as far as looking like a broom, but you know what, this does the trick too. Now look, only 99 cents. All right, so I have uh, three paper towel tube rolls here. Yeah, you can use um, gift wrap tubes. That would probably be better, but right now I don't have access to them. Um, but you can use just a bunch of toilet paper rolls. And for this case here, we just had paper towel rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape these together. Okay, now that I have attached all of them together, um, let's go ahead and wrap them up in uh, brown paper. All right, it seems like I just had an overabundance of brown paper, which is a good thing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it up to make it look like a broomstick. Or if you guys are lacking supplies, go ahead and just roll up a brown piece in a tube. That'll just make it simpler and you don't have to worry about toilet paper or paper towel rolls.
This one gets my genius award of the day because look what they did. Not only did they make a platform here where I can actually still be able to press the buttons, but they made a broomstick holder. I just place this right on top, slide it down, and we don't have to worry about it being taped onto there or falling over. I thought that was absolutely genius. All right, so let me let you watch the magic broom in action. Notice the witch sound file on here. That is a pretty freaky sound file, isn't it? Okay, you guys, so there you have it. The Cracker Barrel Magic Lego EV3 Mindstorms Magic Broom. Um, it can be as complicated or as simple as you want. Obviously, there were some different avenues we took on what we used for resources. And at the end of the day, it's not necessarily about, you know, unless you're trying to win a authentic contest here, it's all about the students understanding the program, understanding what they're trying to achieve um, rather than, hey, you know, your broom kind of stunk looking like a real broom. It's all a matter of, hey, did they fulfill the, you know, the objective of getting their robot to act like the magic broom? And, you know, if, they're, if they can make it look cool and authentic in the process, that is a plus, okay? So hopefully you like the whole process of this. I just thought it was genius, and I'm super satisfied that we were able to get it to look like the real Cracker Barrel one. You know, it just, the concept was just there and I knew it was there and it was just a matter of putting everything together and it was awesome. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out.